What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back into the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the RC mod, and what this mod does is it adds an RC plane, as well as an RC helicopter to Minecraft. So if you like RC things, this will be the perfect mod for you. Um, the animations and the graph, not graphics, the physics of the RCs is amazing. They work pretty well. Um, I have done this mod before, but last time, um, the way that you flew things, it was it was very hard to use. Uh, the mod creator has updated it now and is really easy to use. So I have the helicopter in my hand. If you go ahead and just right click the ground with it, you can see the helicopter is placed. And then the controller is off right now, but if I right click, it will turn it on. Let me go ahead and make this full screen. So the controls is if you hit O, that is to give the helicopter thrust and it will automatically hover at whatever setting you have it and then L would be to go back down to the ground and then we have colon to rotate to the right and K will rotate to the left now to go forward you're gonna use your arrow keys so you hit up on the arrow keys to go forward hit down on the arrow keys to go back and then you can also do pitch from side to side now let me show you something you can do flips with this although it's not all that easy to do let me see if I did that correctly wow that was amazing I did not think I was gonna be able to pull that off um, another thing you could do uh, I think I just lost it yeah I lost it so do not turn off the controller when you're flying it that is a good tip another thing you could do so let me show you this real quick you can go into different views so if I set the helicopter down and then right click on it and turn on the controller I will be watching the helicopter so I can just fly around like this and you will see that I'm still standing over there and if you press F5 it will change the views of the helicopter there are three different views so that is what the helicopter mod is and as you can see right there uh, they will explode on impact so you want to be careful um, on where you're flying these things at so let me go ahead and turn on the controller and for the plane it's the same controls but you will be holding down to fly up so it would be like a normal controls in a real plane. Instead of pushing up to go up, you do down. So this one is pretty fun to use. I like the plane more than the helicopter, and I spiral down to the ground. So that is that. I don't want to take too long on showing you the mod. So I'm going to go ahead and save and quit the title here, and then quit game. So I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. Now all these archiving programs will work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you need to download AudioMod, ModLoader, and the RC Mod itself. So to get AudioMod, ModLoader, and the RC Mod, I will go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the RC Mod, if you go ahead and scroll down a little bit, you'll go ahead and see that there is a preview for the RC car that will be added to this mod in version 1.3, which is coming out soon, so there's a little bit of info on that. But what this page will show you is pretty much everything you need to know about this mod. So how to craft everything, how the controls, all the controls for it, just all the information on the mod. So if you go ahead and scroll down to download this, we'll go ahead and come down to download links. And you want to make sure you're downloading the version 1.1 um, since that's what this tutorial is for. You can do the 1.0.0 and it should work the same. So you can either click on the first link, which will just take you directly to a media fire, or you can click on the second link to support the mod creators. I would suggest doing that, you know, just to help them out a little bit. So once you click on it, it'll go ahead and bring you over to an ad fly, and it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. And then go ahead and just click on skip ad, and this will bring us over to the media fire, and then we just go ahead and click on download to download the mod. Now for 
mod loader and audio mod, we're gonna go ahead and come over to Resigami's mods and scroll down until you see mod loader 1.1 and you can either do download from Adfly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. I usually tend to do direct because then I can just download it straight from this page. So after you download mod loader, go ahead and scroll down a little bit more and then come down to audio mod 1.1. And again, you can either do download from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. So that is how you're going to download everything that you will be installing. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here, and go ahead and go into your roaming, then open your dot Minecraft. Now open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you, use, you are using. I'm going to use WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. And now your bin, we will be coming back to this later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and just minimize that for now. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Audio Mod. Highlight these three files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Audio Mod. Now open up Mod Loader and highlight all of these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up the RC Mod and open up put files into Minecraft jar and highlight all of these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. And I have this little gold arrow to go back so we can see put folder in resources folder. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called metainf. If you do not see this folder it's OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it then right click it. Select delete files and then hit yes. And that will delete metainf. You want to make sure you always delete metainf when you're installing the mod. If you don't it will make your Minecraft crash and you won't be able to play it until you fix it. So now you're done with your Minecraft jar you can go ahead and just close that. And you should have minimized your bin, so bring that back up and just go ahead and hit back so we can see our resources folder. And go ahead and open up the resources folder and come over here to your RC mod and open up put folder in resources folder. And take the folder called mod and simply drag it in. And there you go, you're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.